Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn to handle the multi strike bar using the Playwright. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial we learned that how we can select the value from the drop down right. And in this tutorial we will be looking into how we can select the multiple values. And for this tutorial I will be using a particular website. This is a demo practice website. So I will provide the link in the description. So here you said you see that we have different you know, drop downs here and this one is basically a multi value drop down so basically what you can do is that you can select the multiple values from this particular drop down so if i want to select pizza burger donut so i can select the multiple values from this particular drop down now let's go to videos view code and see how we can automate this one so simply go here i am creating a new file here i am naming it as multi value drop down dot spec dot js and uh, the first thing uh, what i need to do is that i need a special help here so for that i will be typing here simply double forward slash at ts dash check so it, it will help you to write a rewrite code here basically and the first thing uh, what we need to do is that we need to import the playwright test here so simply const then in the curly braces we need to provide test and usually when we are writing the test so we also need to assert the values so simply we can do the expect here as well and require and what we need here simply we need a play right here basically so in double quotes so you will see that it's at play right slash test here and that's how you can import this into your test now the first thing is that now we need to create our test so test and this test will actually the name of the test so we need to provide the name of the test so name let me name it as multiple select values from drop down and now i will be using async here and inside this basically i will be invoking the page and in the curly braces invoke the page here and after that we what we need to do is that we need to use a callback function here and here basically i'm using the arrow function and now our test body is ready so inside this the first thing is that we need to visit our website so await page dot go to this is really easy to write a script in the playwright and inside this we need to provide the url of our application so let me go back here let's copy this one from here and now go back to the visual code here provide the url here so now we will able to visit this page now the first thing is that we need to identify this particular multi select or multi value drop down so let's go here right click on this one click on inspect here and here we need to identify this one so click on this one and go to this arrow buttons go to select this hub and let's copy the relative x bar from here so you can go with css as well you can go with any other locators available in the playwright so let me go back to my video studio code here and here await then page dot locator and here i need to provide the locator so this is a locator and as we saw that in our previous tutorial where we were handling a drop down we were selecting the value from a drop down so we saw that we have a method called selects option so using that select option we will be selecting the multiple values and let's see how we can provide our multiple values to that particular method so simply select option and inside this 
so whenever we need to pass our multiples values so you should be going with the array here so i will be going with the string array here so this is the first value then comma the second value in quotes then the third value so that's how it's really simple in this way now what i need to do is that so let me go here and let's okay let's like this all three values so the first value is pizza so let me copy this one from here and let me go back here and provide this value the second value will be like burger so let me copy this value from here and let's go here and now the third let me go with the donut here so let me copy this value from here go back to the history code and provide this value here and that's done you are done with this one that's that's how it is easy so save this one and now let's run this one so in order to run this one so npx play write test minus g name of the test so name of the test is basically multiple select values from the top down so let me copy this one from here and paste it here and we'll be executing this one into a headed mode so let's press enter and see what happens so it should go to this particular website and we got some so it got passed but it was really quick execution right so what i will do here simply await then page dot wait for timeout and i'm giving, I'm giving a value as a 10 seconds here and let me save this one so now we will see see and now execute the same test again here and see what happens so it should go to this particular website and you see that these three values pizza donut burger is selected so even if you want to select all of the values so you can also do that so simply the fourth value is basically mother so i will copy this one and let me go back here and simply comma quotes and save this one and now let's run this again and see what happens so all the values because it's a multi-select value so you can select all the values from the drop as well okay and this is this is how this is how you can actually work with the multi-select drop downs in the playwright furthermore what you can do is that you can also select the value based on their labels you can also select the value based on their index so when we talk about the index i already covered this in my previous tutorial but for this one as well so basically the values we have are based on the index right so the first value is a zero index the second one is first then second and third so we can you know select the multiple values based on their index and also based on their labels as well so for this one so let me uh, write a code for for the index one here so simply go back here and inside of this so when we just provide let's move this one and index colon so i am selecting a value which is on the index one then comma same goes for index colon um let's go with the two and now let's save this one and now run this one and see what happens here so simply i'm selecting a value but now based on the index so zero index is for the pizza index one is for the donut and index two is for the burger so index we are going with the index one and two that's why it got selected and if i go here with zero index and index two so now let me save this one save this one and now let's run this again so now you will see that the first value of the drop down will be selected and the third one so pizza is selected and burger is selected so similarly you can use the label for identifying or selecting 
the value from the drop down so that's how you can select the multiple values in the pre-write using the select option you will be providing a array of elements or the values and that's how you can select the values and you can perform some actions on that one thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial